Hello, welcome to today's phonics lesson. As always, we are going to start by recapping the sounds that we have learned so far. So join in with me. J, v, w, x, y, z, z, qu, ch, sh, n, a, e, i, o, u, o, a, o, a, ow, oi, ear, air, your, a, Okay, onto our phase five sounds. A, E, I, O, U, A, uh, O. Okay, let's move on to our new phoneme that we're going to learn today. Before that, we are going to have a look at some tricky words they are the same as yesterday the reason why is because they're quite tricky obviously that's why they're called tricky words so we just need to learn them every day to make sure they help us remember okay so let's say it together i say little you say i say have you say i say some you say well done Okay, so you should see the grapheme in front of you. You should see two letters, O and Y. Okay, and together they represent the sound or phoneme, oi. Can you say that? I say oi. You say, well done. Again, that is a sound that we have learned already. So can you remember what letters make that sound in our phase three. O and I make the oi sound. But we have got a different spelling in phase five. It's O and Y. Okay, so oi. What's the same? What's different? They both sound the same. Good. They both begin with O, O, but phase five sound is O and a Y, so O and Y, which represents the phoneme OI. And the phase three spelling is O and I, okay, O and I. So they're quite similar, but we're going to be focusing on this spelling today and we're going to have a look at some words with the OI sound in. So let's do the sound buttons. Are we ready? B. Oi, boy, t, oi, toy, eh, n, j, oi, enjoy. Brilliant. Let's read those again. B, oi, boy, t, oi, toy, eh, n, j, oi, enjoy. Can you have a go at putting those words into a sentence? You don't need to write them down, you can just say them out loud. So, for example, the boy was playing in the mud. You have a go. Well done. Oh, it's our yes and no game. Are you ready? Can you remember the rules? So, you need to read the sentence. Look at the picture to help you decide if it's true or false. If it's true, you need to say yes or you can give it a tick. If it's not true, if it's false, you write no or give it a cross. Okay, let's read this sentence. Are you ready? Off you go. Oh, let's read the sentence. The boy has brown hair. Does the boy have brown hair? 
he does so you should have written yes the sentence is true so well done if you got that right oh we've got another one now oh why have i just gone big we don't want that big way there we go that's better right so have a read of our sentence I can see some sounds that we've learned in there, so we should all be able to read this sentence. Let's read it together. The toy train is red. Well, by looking at this toy train here, I don't see it's red, I see it's blue. So the sentence is false. So you should have written no. So well done if you got that right. You are getting very good at this yes no game. Well done. Right, let's have a go then. At writing some words. So here I can see a boy. Oh, a toy. Now this is the queen. So the queen is part of the royal family. R oi o. Okay, I'll give you a clue for that one because it can be quite tricky. So if you want to pause me and then have a go at writing the words in the phoneme frames. Remember, our phoneme for today is. O and Y make the sound OI. Okay. Right, well done for having a go. Let's do it together. So I can hear B OI. Nice and easy. There's only two sounds in that word. We use our phonics hands. B OI. Boy. Well done. Again with toy, I can just hear two sounds. Boy, toy, brilliant, well done. Next one, royal. So this was a little bit tricky. R oi, all. So it, that's an a and an all. Okay. R oi, a all. Royal. That's why it's a little bit tricky because it doesn't sound like it would be spelt that way. But that's why we use our phonics. Lovely stuff. So now I've got a picture. What can you see in the picture? I can see a little boy playing with his toys. Oh, what did you hear then? Boy and toy. I use two words with our focus phoneme in. So what I would like you to do now is I would like you to write your very own sentence. Remember, it needs to include a word with our oi sounding. Okay. Can you include any of our tricky words that we have learned today? Make sure you include your capital letters, your finger spaces. An adjective would be amazing. If you include and or but in your sentence, I'll be super proud of you. So I look forward to reading your sentences and I'll see you very soon.